I'm Diane Shan, Senior Director, Corporate Ratings and Sector Specialist for Consumer Products. For the consumer products sector, the key trends are robust M&A and growing to grow top line and cost cutting to maintain margins. We believe organic sales growth will continue to be anemic because of difficult industry conditions caused by shifts in consumer tastes and preferences, especially among the increasingly influential millennials a changing retail landscape with further channel diversification, a deflationary environment in Europe, and the continuation of low growth in developed markets and slower growth in emerging markets. Credit quality will likely be modestly negative in 2016. Rating actions are expected to result from company-specific variations in operating performance, mergers and acquisition activity, and management's financial policy decisions rather than widespread sector challenges. We have stable outlooks on the majority of the companies in the sector reflecting our view they will be able to cope with the low growth environment in developed markets and the slowdown in emerging market growth. We believe M&A activity will play a key role in growth for consumer product companies as they reposition their product portfolios into faster growing categories and in some cases enter into more local brands. We expect most acquisitions in the sector to be small to medium in size and to complement existing businesses. However, we do believe there could be large transformational acquisitions as subsectors as subsectors encounter disruptions. For example, the growing craft beer business is taking share from traditional beer, which is prompting consolidation. And activist investors such as 3G put pressure on the packaged goods sector to cut costs in order to increase margins. How companies fund the acquisitions and how quickly they can reduce leverage will largely determine the direction of rating actions. Moreover, we are seeing an increased willingness for companies to lever up to return capital to their shareholders. In part, this reflects low growth prospects, but also the companies are trying to ward off activist investors. In terms of operating performance and credit metrics, we forecast organic sales growth at a low single digit percentage rate with volumes flat to modestly up, and sales will be driven by acquisitions modestly favorable mix and currency volatility. Multinationals will generate mid-single-digit sales growth in developing markets, mainly through pricing. Margins will be stable because of higher productivity, a benign commodity environment, and savings from ongoing cost reduction programs being reinvested into their businesses. As a result, we expect credit metrics to be fairly stable. Thank you for watching.